Hey y'all, this is Zach, Meals Under Pressure. All right, tonight in my Instant Pot, I'm making kind of a kind of a steak and potatoes meal using some, some stew meat that I bought. You can get this stuff at a grocery store. It's pre-cut, it's, pre it's pretty cheap. Uh, this is a pound and a half. And what I'm probably gonna do is cut it down even further to make it smaller pieces. Um, and my potatoes, like these small, the red potatoes we got at our grocery store. Um, Perfect size to eat. They call them nibbles. I don't know. They're, they're just little red potatoes. Um, they also have the little yellow ones too, but yeah, good size. I've got some onion soup mix, got some beef broth, got some minced garlic, and all right. Two ingredients I always use. Well, I say always, but I use a lot when I cook with beef. Is this cooking sherry. Cheap, about $3.50. Gives it a really good depth of flavor and rosemary. Um, I've got some rosemary. I'm also going to use a little bit of thyme, but uh, that's all I'm going to use tonight. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go to salt and pepper, my my stew meat. Actually, I'm going to cut it down a little bit smaller pieces, then salt and pepper, and I'll show you the rest. See you in a few. All right, so I cut down the stew meat to about a half inch pieces. We then add some salt and pepper, and I turn the saute function on. Nice pot, added some olive oil. So it's Heat it up, I'll go ahead and add my meat. Now you can skip this stuff. You can add everything in and just get right to cooking. Uh, but I like to brown them to the meat a little bit to give it that extra level of, of flavor. So I'm gonna brown it for about five minutes and then I'll show you the rest of the video. All right, see you a few. All right, so I brown the meat for about five minutes. Then I turn the saute function off. Go ahead and add one cup of that beef broth and just deglaze the bottom of the, the liner. It's pretty much deglazed anyway. So one cup of beef broth. Now I've got a quarter cup of this cooking sherry. That's a favorite ingredient of mine when I, when I cook, cook beef. All right, go ahead and add your potatoes in there. Now we used a pound of those little potatoes, but you can use whatever, you know, however many you want. Um, one of these little packets of onion soup mix. Alright, so I've got a tablespoon of rosemary and a teaspoon of thyme. And that's it. That's all the ingredients. So move my beer out of the way. Take my lid, make sure it's set to the, the seal position. Turn it on. Now with this model. I have to hit the pressure cook button, then customize, and then what it, and then high, and then I've got it set to 15 minutes. So 15 minutes under pressure. Hit start button. All right, so we'll uh, we'll share all the final product in just a few. All right, so one thing we forgot to add was the garlic. So we went back, added two tablespoons of minced garlic, and you add two, three, whatever, and we cooked it for the 15 minutes with a 10 minute natural release, and then we flipped the, the switch. All right, this, this meat is so tender and flavorful. Um, it's a great way, inexpensive meal, you know, a great way to, to get rid of some, some stew meat. I think a pound and a half only cost you about, it was less than $10. Um, with the potatoes were cheap, the flavor is phenomenal, fork tender. Uh, we normally serve this kind of stuff over, over rice, but we have some mashed potatoes, you know, the microwavable kind we had to get rid of. So we're gonna serve it with, uh, with our mashed potatoes tonight. And just use the gravy over the potatoes or the, the mashed potatoes but folks this this is a really really good simple delicious recipe uh, so we hope you enjoy the video like and subscribe we also have a facebook uh, group page also called meals under pressure and uh we're gonna get eaten so we will see y'all next time